want to show you a photo, just one, because sometimes one photo is all it takes to get to the heart, as it were, of the issue. This was the famous photo, for instance, that showed a young girl running terrified down a street in Vietnam that galvanised middle America against that war. And who can forget this photo of the dead boy on the beach several years ago that led to the throwing open of Europe's doors to millions of refugees. The reason these photos are so powerful, of course, is because they trigger an emotional rather than a rational response, which is why the media and the left-wing propagandists love them. So much easier to tug at the heartstrings than to offer up fact, reason and logic. Currently, a war is raging in Israel, and here is the photo that tells you everything you need to know about the history and the future of this conflict. This is what is called the Iron Dome at work in the skies above Israel. On the right-hand side of the photo, you can see the deadly rockets being fired out of Gaza in an aggressive and deliberately offensive act of war designed to kill and maim as many innocent everyday Israeli citizens as possible. Those rockets, by the way, have been supplied by Iran, funded in part by the Obama-Biden administration and indeed by countries such as ours via our donations to the United Nations. Now, on the left-hand side of the photo, looking like something out of Star Wars or Close Encounters, you can see the Iron Dome a technological miracle that allows Israel to shoot those Iranian and Hamas rockets out of the sky in a purely defensive act designed to save citizens' lives. Now, allow that to tug on the logical side of your brain rather than tug at the emotional strings of your heart. On the right-hand side, a barrage of deadly missile, missiles supplied by the terrorist Iranian regime to the murderous thugs of Hamas designed to kill Jewish men, women and children as they sleep in their beds. On the left-hand side, a highly sophisticated and remarkable defensive system designed through ingenuity and necessity over many long years to protect lives. That is the story of the Gaza conflict and the history of Israel and Palestine. Pretty much everything else you will hear is obfuscation, distortion and lies, including this insidious rubbish that the Palestinians are the victims courtesy of the pernicious moral relativism of the left, peddled incessantly by the mainstream media and spouted by fools such as the creepy former leader of Pink Floyd, Roger Waters. Unless some pressure is brought to bear upon the Israeli government to stop their ferocious, uh, murderous attack upon on Gaza. What rubbish. Of course, this disgraceful performance by Adam Bolton on Sky News in London interviewing the Israeli ambassador, Tsipi Hotoveli, takes the... United Nations, it's duty to say that Hamas is committing a double war crimes. Right. One war crime is they're shooting from civilian areas, and the other one, they're shooting to civilians. So they're committing double yeah, but as, war as crimes. As you well know, the United Nations has repeatedly said that the settlements are illegal in international law and should cease, and those are continuing. But they need to condemn terror organization, which is recognized by well, Britain and by United States, that is now shooting no, into civilian it, all population All I'm saying is a bit rich to say people. the United Nations should do something when Israel is ignoring what the United Nations has said said in the context of settlement. Can I ask you something? What Canadian would you do situation? if Britain was under a fire? What would you do oh. if London was under fire and rockets were thrown on your house? What would you do? Do you think Britain would have sit in well, silent, not protecting its citizens? Do you expect any sovereign country well, not of to course, protect its of citizens? Of course you can protect citizens. The question is the retaliation uh, and the attacking of civilians in Gaza and elsewhere, which, as we know, once again is leading to disproportionate suffering uh, on the Palestinian side. Oh, 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 disproportionate, oh, oh, settlements. So just to be clear, <laughs> in the eyes of the woke left, Israel should sit back silently and allow its citizens to be blown to smithereens by rockets and bombs because of complicated historical reasons. There are some disputed Jewish settlements out in Judea and Samaria on land that, by the way, for over three and a half thousand years has been the home of the Jews. 
That's your lefty logic. Oh, and if Hamas fires thousands of deadly rockets into the suburbs of Tel Aviv, if imams call for Israeli Muslims to rush out and buy cheap five shekel knives to slit the throats of their Jewish neighbours alongside whom they have lived peacefully for decades, as they have done, if synagogues are burnt to the ground, oh, that's all hunky-dory. But it is disproportionate. What a vile word, disproportionate of Israel to defend its people. How dare the Israeli government stop Jews being killed? Well, may Adam Bolton hang his head in shame.